Wait, there's my card. Ah, uh, what? Like that. What the heck? <laughs> I just started it. <laughs> What's good? Welcome back to episode number 100 of How To Magic. Oh, 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 magic. Happy 4th of July. I am your host, Evan Era, and today I'm showing you seven 4th of July magic pranks. Today, we celebrate our Independence Day. So if you're ready, hit that thumbs up button for me and let's go. Okay, this is a really fun 4th of July prank to do when someone's grilling out. Check it out. What grill is What happened? <laughs> oh my god! Okay, here's the secret setup behind this fun magic prank. So the secret to this one is extremely simple. All you're gonna do is take a smoke bomb. I got some of these colored smoke bombs. We used a green one for that one. This is a blue colored smoke bomb. So all you do is take it and put it in the grill. And use the coals of the grill, or if it's a gas grill, use the flame to light the fuse. Then close up the grill, and it's gonna make whoever's grilling think that it's on fire. I do want to point out, any food that's on the grill when you do this prank is gonna get ruined, and it might ruin any food that you cook on the grill thereafter. So prank at your own risk. Place it inside, it open. And just like that, the grill will start to smoke, colored smoke everywhere. It looks really cool. And that is how you do the magic smoking grill prank. Okay, this is a cool patriotic magic trick that's sure to make our founding fathers proud. Check it out. All right, Veronica, for this one, I have three different little silk scarves, red, white, and blue in honor of Independence Day. Yeah. So check these out for me. Check them out. Yeah, make sure they're just like separate, oh, separate yes. little scarves. Little red one, little white one, little blue one. Seem normal. Yes. All right, hand them to me in order, red, white, and blue. Hand me the red one first. All right. There, it's gonna go right here inside my fist. I'm just gonna stuff it right down inside. White one next. Can you see it going down inside my fist? Uh, yeah. Right down inside there, yes? Yeah. All right, blue red. next. Last one goes right down inside my hand. Now the last thing I need is right here in my pocket, I need my magic sparkler. This is gonna act as my oh, magic no. wand. So light this up for me. Oh my gosh. All right, this is gonna act as our magic wand. On the count of three, watch. One, two, three, and it's done. We'll toss that aside. Look, I reach in my fist. You can see the red, white, and blue scarves. Look, yeah. they've actually changed. Into an American flag. That is that. Go America. That's awesome. Wow. All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal the secret. The secret to this trick is extremely simple, and I'll teach you how it's done right now. Okay, here's the explanation to the magic flag trick. So you have your three little scarves and you have a magic thumb tip. We sell these in the Evanera TV shop. There's a link in the description if you want to get one. So you take your thumb tip. These three scarves are going to start off in your pocket along with a sparkler or a magic wand. So you're going to take the thumb tip, going to be held in your hand. The flag is going to get folded up around the thumb tip. So you're going to fold it like this and like this and like this. And now you're going to roll it around the thumb just like this. Just roll it up, perfect. Now you're going to conceal this in your hand like so. You wanna make sure the flag has some room on the outside of the thumb tip. You wanna give it about a half inch so that when you put the other silks down in it, they're not getting caught on the outside of this silk right here. So you're gonna start the trick with these three, show them to your audience. They're gonna go down inside the thumb tip to stuff them down in, and then steal the entire thumb tip out with your thumb, just like that. Keep that pointed at the audience, and then go directly into your pocket to get your magic wand or your sparkler. Come right out with your sparkler like this. Now you're going to do your magic wave, tap your hand, reach inside, and reveal that the three scarves have now changed into an American flag. Perfect trick to do on the 4th of July, and stay tuned to the end for a special giveaway. And that is how you do the magic American flag trick. Okay, this is a cool firework trick that you can do at home. Take a look. Okay, here's 
how it's done. This is a really, really cool trick. All you do is take some sparklers and take a beaker of water. You can also do this in like a pond or a lake. So you can try this out. Make sure you experiment safely. If you're a kid, get an adult to supervise you. Just gonna take some sparklers, light them up, and insert them down in the water, and they'll actually keep burning below the surface of the water. What's really cool is when they're going off under the water, they're actually creating bubbles that are full of smoke that rise to the top, come right at the top of the beaker. It's really cool. And that is how you do the magic underwater sparkler trick. For this one, you're gonna create fireworks inside the house. Check it out. And I'm proud to be an American. Here's how you make this incredible display. Okay, so first things first, you're gonna get a watermelon. You're gonna cut the top open like you would a pumpkin. Then you're going to hollow out the watermelon until it's completely empty. You wanna scoop out all of the melon until it's all the way down to the rind. That is all the red part completely gone and just the white left. So now that you've got it completely scraped out, you're going to trace your design of your fireworks onto the watermelon using either a pencil, a pen, or a skewer to kind of carve it into the melon. So that'll let you know where to cut out the melon. Now you're gonna take a knife and carefully cut it out. If you have tools to carve a pumpkin, this would work perfect. You can try cutting multiple different designs, try cutting stars and stripes for the 4th of July, or just a simple firework design. The last step is to take some glow sticks. You're gonna crack these on, activate them, Go through, crack each one of them, light them up. So once you have all the glow sticks lit, it's time to put them in the watermelon. With this, you can create an indoor fireworks show for this 4th of July. You can turn this into a prank by saying that you're going to make fireworks go off inside the house. And take your watermelon out, throw some glow sticks inside, and light up the 4th of July. And that is how you make a 4th of July watermelon jack o -lantern. There's another fun grill prank that you can do on the 4th. You're going to make a burger disappear. All right, Visa, check this out. I'm going to take this burger. I'm going to sit it on the grill right here. Check it out. Close it up. And this. Watch. I'm going to make the burger disappear. You ready? Mm -hmm. Watch. Disappears. Okay, here's how you set up this fun magic prank. So here's what you need for this prank. You need some ground beef printouts. This is kind of weird. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get on Google Images and search for ground beef background. Then you're gonna print these out on your computer and you're gonna get these, which are ground beef printouts. So this is how we're gonna make our fake burgers. You're gonna take scissors and you're gonna cut out a circle of the ground beef and then we're gonna make our fake patty. Okay, now that you have your circle cut out, you're gonna put a little cut right about there. Now you're gonna start folding the edge of this down just like this. Just wanna crimp it along the edge. You wanna maintain about an inch of width on your crimp all the way around. Just like that. And you wanna slice it on the other side as well. And I'm just gonna go through here and put some cuts in the sides so that you can fold it under and make it look like a patty. Now you're gonna take some tape and tape it in place. Just little tiny pieces of tape will do the trick. And you create this nice little false burger patty. Throw like three or four of them on the grill and say, watch, I'm gonna make them disappear. You close the grill up, then the fire catches the paper, they turn into ash, fall into the grill, and when you open it up, it looks like they've completely disappeared. Super fun and super easy magic prank to do on the 4th of July. And that is how you do the magic disappearing burger prank. Okay, for this one, you're gonna combine card magic and fire. Check it out. Okay, this is a really fun one involving fire. Okay, Veronica, I'm gonna have you pick a card out of this deck. Just say stop whenever you want. Stop. Right there, right, take a look. Show it to the camera. Got it? Put it back anywhere you want. Very good. Okay, lost in the deck. I have no idea where it's at. Check this out. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take the cards on the grill right here. We're gonna use the fire, all right? Oh. Lay the cards out on the grill just like this. Yeah. Watch. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's it. That's my card. Right there. Wow. The only one unburned, seven of hearts. Wow, that's my card. Okay, here's the secret behind this amazing magic trick. So here's what you're gonna need to pull off this prank. A deck of playing cards and some fire retardant coating. This is a no burn spray. You can spray it on pretty much anything and it'll stop it from catching on fire. So what we're going to do is we're going to coat a playing card from the deck in the no burn spray so that when we spray our cards into the fire, their selected card is the only one that doesn't burn. So all the rest of the cards will burn off, leaving their one selected card magically unburnt in the fire. So you're going to take the card and soak it in the spray. Slightly spray each side of it and then set it out to dry. So once it's coated in the fireproof coating, you can literally just take a flame right to the card and it won't catch on fire. It's like an indestructible card now. Super crazy. 
super cool. Then you're going to force this card on your spectator. You're gonna take your deck of cards. You're gonna take the force card, in this case, the Ace of Diamonds. You're gonna put it on top of the deck. Show them that the deck is all completely different. They're all different cards. Then you're gonna give it a cut and leave a break right here on top of this card. Say, tell me when to stop, riffle down the side. When they say stop, just cut to that card. Show them the Ace and then say, watch. We're gonna take the Ace put it back in the deck, and we're gonna take the cards, we're gonna do something kinda crazy to find your card. Check it out. You come over to a grill or a bonfire, and you say, watch, you spray the cards onto the bonfire, so all the cards will burn away, except for this one that's been coated in the no-burn spray, preventing it from catching on fire and leaving your spectator completely amazed. And that is how you do the magic unburnable card. Okay, for this one, you're gonna take a water balloon grenade to the next level. Check it out. All right, Veronica, so I have a hand grenade water balloon. Have you ever seen these before? It looks like a real hand grenade, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, check this out. What if I could turn it into a real hand grenade? I don't want to cool, be right? part of that. Nope. You don't want to be part of that? I don't want to be anywhere near that. Watch. No, please don't, Evan. <laughs> Watch, okay, you ready? <laughs> okay. Three, two, <laughs> one, it's done. It's a real hand grenade now. You don't believe me? Watch. You just pull the pin and give it a toss. Oh my God. Okay, here's the setup to this crazy magic prank. Once you have the balloon filled with water, you're gonna tie off the end and you're good to go. So to make the explosion happen, you're gonna take a big firecracker and bury it down in the ground about where you expect your water balloon to land. And then to detonate it, you're going to use an electronic trigger from a model rocket. So once you've run the cable to the fuse, you're gonna arm your trigger. Now while they're watching you throw the balloon, you're gonna have this on the ground underneath your foot and depress the trigger with your toe, making the explosion go off at the exact same time as the balloon hits the ground, making it look like it turned into a real grenade. And that is how you do the magic water balloon grenade. Okay, here's a fun little bonus trick that I used to do as a kid. Check it out. So you light the wick and throw it in the pond right before it goes off and it'll shoot up underneath the water, cause a really cool flash of light and then explode underneath the water, make a really big flash. It's super fun, try it at home, but do it at your own risk cause it can be a little bit dangerous. You can do this one at home, all you do is light up a bottle rocket, drop it beneath the surface of the water, and watch it streak across the pond and pop. Just make sure there's no fish or living aquatic life in the pond before you do it, because it can definitely like mess up that ecosystem. And also make sure that there's no one directly in the range. So make sure that you exercise safety when you do the trick. Have fun this fourth, but be sure to be safe. If you're lighting off fireworks, make sure there's an adult present to supervise. All right guys, if you liked episode number 100 of How To Magic, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and share it on your Facebook or Twitter, text or email it to a friend who might like it. You know what to do. Also be sure to head over to howtomagicshop.com or evaneratv.com. Link is in the description. We have a brand new magic trick that we're announcing right now. What's more American than printing money? Check it out. All right, so I have here a piece of white computer paper and this, it's a magic money printer. Just two little black rollers that are covered with black fabric. Now watch what it does. If I take the piece of paper and I insert it into the money printer, all I have to do is turn these little wheels right here. And watch what happens. magically prints a hundred dollar bill. So all you need to do this trick is a bill. It doesn't have to be US currency and it doesn't have to be a hundred dollar bill either. You can do this with a lot of different currencies. The money printer will fit a lot of different bills. So you're gonna take a bill. We're also going to take a sheet of paper. You're gonna need some scissors. Now you're gonna take the bill and line it up on the paper just like this. Take your scissors and cut a sheet of paper exactly the size of the bill. Once you have your piece of paper cut out to the same size as your bill, you're gonna toss the rest of the paper away, and this is your setup for the trick. You also need your magic money printer available now at howtomagicshop.com. So here's how this works. You're gonna load the bill into the magic money printer. So you're gonna spin it all the way in one direction, just like that. You can kind of feel it when it stops. It's a little adhesive right here. I'm gonna take the bill. It's gonna go down into the printer just like this. I'm gonna spin the little knobs right here to start wheeling the bill. Just draw it right in to the little printer, just like that. So now it's set up. So now we can put the paper in the other side of it, just like this. Turn the knob to wheel in the paper, like this, and the bill will automatically come out the other side. 
And it looks like you just magically printed a piece of paper into money. Then to get your piece of paper out, you simply crank the wheel in the opposite direction and it will roll out the piece of paper. So you can repeat the trick. The magic money printer is available now. Head over to the shop. There's a link in the description. Get one today. All right, guys, go follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is right here is Evan Rosenman. Go like my most recent post on Instagram. Send me a message or leave me a comment and let me know you're from the channel. All right, guys, it is giveaway time. I'm giving away the magic American flag trick and 10 American flag fidget spinners. The 10 lucky comments in the comments section below. All you have to do to win one is give this video a thumbs up, be subscribed to this channel, and leave a comment in the comment section below. Today's keyword is fireworks. So leave a comment in the comment section below. You can leave as many comments as you want on this video, unlimited comments. In fact, the more comments you leave, the better your chances of winning a giveaway. So I will pick 10 lucky comments from the comment section below and I will give you an American flag fidget spinner. In addition to that, I will be picking one lucky comment who will get the American flag trick. I will mail these out to the winners, so leave a comment in the comment section below if you wanna win one. All right guys, it's time to announce the giveaway winners from the last How To Magic video. The winners are these names right here. Send me a message on YouTube to claim your prize. Thank you to everyone who entered the giveaway drawing and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway drawing. Be sure to give that video a thumbs up and leave your comments below. Episode number 100 of How To Magic. You remember the first episode? So let's take a look back. Here's the very first episode of How To Magic. Welcome to the very first episode of my How To Magic series. Oh. Holy, how did you do that? <laughs> Wow, we sure have come a long way since the first episode. So I want to take a second to acknowledge something. Uh, I don't really get to speak to you guys directly, like one-on-one -on -one a lot. And I figure 100 episodes is probably a good time to have a little chat, one-on-one -on -one chat with you, my audience. Because uh, we don't really get to do that much. It's a lot of time just kind of cut and dry with the videos. It's seven magic tricks or 10 magic pranks. And I don't get a lot of time to like kind of talk to you. So 100 episodes, absolutely crazy. First and foremost, I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for all your support on the channel, on all the videos. I'm interested in though like what episode number you came in at so maybe leave that in the comments below that would be interesting to know so 100 episodes we've uh, we've definitely made some mistakes I've revealed things I shouldn't reveal I want to address that a little bit too I'm kind of uh, making some alignments and uh, working on some stuff behind the scenes to kind of make sure that doesn't happen anymore and really just improve the series and help the magic community as a whole. So I wanna say thank you. I appreciate everyone who shows support on the series, anyone who has expressed concerns about the series. If you're a magician, know that I am taking those under consideration. I'm working as hard as I can to preserve the art of magic, to make it better, and to make this a resource for all magicians, young and old, to seek out advice and learn new things. So that being said, we have done some amazing things in 100 episodes. We've traveled to some really beautiful places in the world. We've done almost a thousand magic tricks and we've had a ton of fun doing it, haven't yeah. we? Yeah. <laughs> so thank you for all your support so far. I hope you continue supporting the series. There's some really, really exciting things in the works. Stay tuned to the channel. It's about to get really crazy. All right, guys, if you are new to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you see our videos first. You can check out the shop right down there. You can also check out my vlog channel. That's my other channel on YouTube. A lot of videos there, too. I got another one of my videos right over there. All right, guys, until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Happy 4th of July.